All right, it is September 1st, 2024, and I'm gonna talk about Fitspresso. First off, you probably saw some of these scammy videos here from these people who are trying to sell you the product. They claim to be providing a review, but all they're really trying to do is get affiliate marketing commission based upon you watching their video and clicking a link. I don't want you to click anything. If you want to have my video, an honest video, that's not trying to sell you this product, rank above these people, then hit like down below and comment with your favorite breakfast food. Better yet, I know you're probably not gonna do this, but better yet, share my video to friends and family, an email to your family, tell them don't buy this product, you know, maybe on Facebook as well. And let's talk about this because some people want to find reviews from Consumer Reports, the BBB, Trustpilot, and this is a long running scam. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. First off, these reviews, they are not reviews, they call them reviews. I have been looking at this product as well as other scam products for a number of years now. And that's what I do here on my channel. It's a scam busting channel. I'm also a full-time reporter on another website during the day. So I have credentials. I'm not just some guy. Hopefully you'll take that into account that, you know, I don't order products that to me look like scams, especially when they are marketed like scams. And I hope that you can respect that whenever I show you the following red flags. First off, these videos here are from affiliate marketers in Central America, South America, maybe Brazil specifically, from people who are looking, like this person right here, to make affiliate marketing commission based upon you losing some of your money. That's what she's decided she wants to do with her life, right? As well as some of the other people here. These products, there's no recipe, by the way. There's no coffee loophole, coffee recipe. All that is like just a clickbait sort of a thing to get you drawn into the scam. There is no rest. It's a bottle of pills. That's what Fitspresso is. It's a bottle of pills. And if we know anything and you look up on the FTC or maybe USA.gov for information about weight loss scams, you know, when it comes to, to pills that you can't find any information about who makes them in terms of, you know, who's the founder? What kind of credible backing do they have from medical doctors, medical professionals, hospitals, universities, there's none of that. And why? Because it's all very, very scammy. And, you know, I, I have to show you some of the reviews because there are lies about the kinds of reviews that this product has. If you go to the getfitspresso.org website, it'll be like, oh, we got all these five-star reviews, 20,000 reviews, or how many ever they say, 4.8 out of five or whatever they claim, right? Doesn't exist, not for the product itself. So let's first take a look. Consumer Reports, nothing for Fitz, Fitzpresso whatsoever. So some people look up Fitzpresso Reviews Consumer Reports on Google. There's nothing because they don't really look at that sort of thing. They look at like the best washing machines, the best cars from Ford, and the best midsize, you know, that sort of thing. They don't look at stuff like this very specific. BBB, this is very important. This is Get Fitzpresso from the Better Business Bureau. Has a one out of five customer review rating here, which is not great. This is the real customer review rating for Fitzpresso. Not what the company's trying to make you think it has. I don't know how you promote a product knowing that it is surrounded by so many scams for so many months on end and still pretend that you're doing something that's like good or like that's your way to make money. It's just like insane. C customer complaints, I mean the affiliate marketers, it's just like, I don't get it. Complaints closed in the last three years. Let's read them. Right, we're the product that doesn't work, and that's fine. No, it's not. My mistake for believing it, but they continue to charge my credit card every month. That's what they do. That's what scammers do. And then they act like, no, what we're doing, it's in our terms and conditions. I've got my suit on, and I'd like to tell you about this, this, you know, terms and terms of conditions that we came up with. And it's like it's we we know what you're doing is deceptive for sure. Drop the act. Another one here, contacted on website before 6 a.m. and expressed that I wanted to cancel. You know, I'm a reporter on another website during the day. We cover scams, can't cover all of them. This one's been going on so long, it may be worth covering with a substantial article. Fitzpresso is the name of the product. Everything in the company named Nature's Formula Fitzpresso, they seem to be calling themselves both, has said that their product is proven to be untrue. Yeah, they're, they're saying everything that they talk about is not true. The ingredients... Uh, we're not in the product. I've included pictures. All the important ones are missing. It stated that it works by taking your taking it with your morning coffee, but nowhere is this stated when you receive the product. That's because the whole coffee loophole, coffee recipe, coffee ritual, coffee method, whatever they call it, is all a lie. And the people who are behind this product make it, market it, have their logo next to it, know that. They know that. Actually, we have very close contact with our affiliates and we're very strict on what they do. It's been going on all year. Where are you? Like, where are you? Okay. Trustpilot. 
<laughs> also bad. See that red color? 196 reviews. Bad. And it's got a 1.3 out of 5. 1.3 out of 5. That's really not good. Look at that. 92% of the reviews are one-star reviews. It's a pre and this is from a, a day ago. It says here that they wish that the government could be made aware and launch an investigation. Yeah, the FTC. Unfortunately, I didn't read reviews here before I provide these scoundrels my credit card number. I called and canceled and, yeah, something about wishing they were in jail. I gave it one star. If there was a minus star rating, I would have given it that. But leaving their 100% money back guarantee, I requested my refund on June 1, 2024. I had to return the product and email the USPS receipt, which I did. On August 13, because I inquired where my refund was, they requested I send another cut. It's very scammy what's going on here with this product, with the people behind the product, the company behind the product, well, we actually have very good reviews. It's like, I don't don't believe you. Sorry. I don't think that those are legitimate reviews that you have, especially on Trustpilot for, you know, the, the company behind this sort of a thing. This sort of advertising should be banned. It's nothing short of stealing. Fortunately, the repetitious spill and the miracles from this product clearly smacked American scam, even the name Fitspresso. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Saw the video and decided to research it. it. Appears nobody seems to think it works, and there's talk of scammers out there. Well, I hope you saw my one of my previous videos. Saw on Amazon something about 30 pills, list 60 in the description, and so that they lost weight previously by giving up wine and late night snacks. Yeah, that's good. Thank God for Trustpilot. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Trustpilot, and all you wonderful, honest folks who left reviews. I, like so many other desperate people, almost fell prey to this scam. Sorry to say false advertising. Sorry to say I didn't read these reviews for ordering Fitzpresso. When I received my order, I checked every ingredient that was supposed to be in the capsule. To my surprise, two of the main ingredients that were supposed to be in the capsule were not. Yeah, it's like, where's the FTC? Maybe I need to contact them about this too. Give them all the information, including, let's take a look at this previous video I did. Look here. So this is just a, a still frame from a previous video I did and put here on YouTube. This February. It's now September, and this is still going on. As you can see, I'll zoom in. The website, getfitspresso.org, for at least a number of weeks, maybe months, maybe longer, had an FDA-approved logo. I brought up the fact that that was included here on their website, and I'm assuming that after that, or after someone else pointed it out to them in a way that was like public, like a video like mine or whatever, that they were like, yeah, we got to take that down. So, for quite a long time, an FDA approved logo was up here. I don't care about your your you know opinion about the FDA. Actually, I hate the FDA. That's great. I'm not talking about, but we can all admit, aside from the politics and the FDA and whatever the last few years, that if you saw an FDA approved logo for something you were about to pay for and they were lying to you about whether or not it was FDA approved, I don't care if you think FDA approved is important or not. What they are doing is lying to you. And do you like it when someone lies to you? No, no one likes it you know, when they're lied to. So I hope that you understand that is super, super scammy, right? And it says made in the USA. And it, I saw something about Aurora, Colorado, which I keep seeing a lot of scams associated with there, there, but you know, whatever. So that's what I noticed too, is that for a long time, FDA approved was mentioned on the website. And how many people bought it knowing or believing rather that it was FDA approved, which is a pretty big lie about the government, I gotta tell you. And so... You know, going back to more reviews here, stay away from Fitzpresso. It doesn't work. Complete ripoff. They don't hold their claim of 180 day money back guarantee. Yeah, a lot of these scams don't hold to their guarantees. And, they, you know, what, what are you going to do? Unless you have a lawyer, you're just someone on the phone. They got to hang up and then they hope that you get tired and don't want your refund anymore. And then they have basically taken your money based upon false pretenses and everything. Maybe there'll be an FTC article, you know, fairly soon or one day saying that, so-and-so is going to owe so-and-so, you know, such and such millions of dollars in a settlement toward victims of a scam associated with this in terms of subscriptions and false promises and FDA approved and the money back guarantee thing that's not, you know, it's a lot of information, a lot of data out there, especially in the videos that I've made and the trust pilot reviews. And I bet a lot of people would like to get on a settlement about this. What an elaborate scheme to prey on weakness and insecurities, both women, men, and even the elderly. And then it says, don't be fooled, just intermittent fast. I don't know about that. I mean, don't buy weird products. That's, a, that's what I say. Doesn't work. Important ingredients are not in the capsules. The 180-day guarantee or warranty, rather, is fake. Non-existent 
Customer service, a lot of misspellings here. Please don't fall for this scam. I do always think it's funny when someone says costumer service with a C-O, because it's like, I think of a clown costume. And so that's basically what we're looking at, is that the reviews I looked at, if, if I just want to scroll back up them for a second, they were all from the last few days. And there are so many of them. And this is going around big time. And so, you know, the important thing here, leave a comment down below with your story. And, you know... Let's see if the FTC does something about this because the FTC is currently doing something about scammers promoting CBD gummies and keto gummy scams the last few years in a case going on in Central Florida. You can look that up. Just go to Google and type in FTC 200 million keto gummies or CBD gummies. You'll find the, the article on FTC.gov, I think from July 1, 2024. And... I hope that you didn't fall for this. If you did, call your credit card company, ask them if you can reverse the charges, if you can make sure to not get charged again by the company in the future for the subscription-based thing. And basically, you know, if an online offer seems too good to be true, it probably is. And any weight loss pills out there that are being advertised, especially in Facebook and Instagram ads, which that's a whole nother thing. If you originally saw this in a Facebook and Instagram ad, and that led you to a landing page, within, which then led you to getfitspresso.org, that means meta. The Facebook and Instagram parent company is the company that allowed you to be able to see this scam in the first place. And in my opinion, that means that they have partnered with the scam, whether willingly or not. They accepted money from scammers to allow ads to start running on Facebook and Instagram that then led to you being scammed. And so I'd love the FTC to look into that as well. But, you know, is the the FTC ever going to levy a huge fine on Meta? And if they do, is it really going to like effect like Zuckerberg or something? Is he going to be like, oh, I lost a bunch of my money? No, he's probably... So what needs to happen is policy changes. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Meta basically accepts money for basically anything. And they ask you, the user who's not on the payroll, hey, tap our report ad button if you see anything out there. Like they can't hire credible moderators to check ads before they start being displayed to users in the first place. Meta reports to their investors on a quarterly basis. Tens of billions, with a B, billions of dollars. That's a lot of money, and that's plenty of money to hire credible moderators to check ads before accepting money from scammers and before they display to users. Why don't they do that? My thinking is that if they did that, they would have to turn away a bunch of advertisers, and that would mean less revenue. And would that make investors happy? No. And as we all know, these days in America and other countries maybe, but maybe definitely America, Greed is king. And we gotta we gotta please those investors, right? Users come second, investors come first for Meta. And that's that's not maybe what they say, of course. They're never gonna say that, but that's the proof of what you see, you know, walking the walk versus them talking the talk in a press release. That's all I got. I hope that you gain something out of this. Like, comment, tell me your story, subscribe. If you don't know what to say, hit, you know, tell me your favorite pizza topping, like I said earlier. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching.